Hi guys, this is uh, just a short little video about uh, let's say you have a picture and yeah, we have an object and then we have like a color around the object and you put this picture as your background and it doesn't fill your whole screen and you don't want to stretch the picture to just fill your whole screen because then the picture will like look sh weird or something so uh, I have it centered here um, if we go to fit we can see it or we can fill and if we go and fill the whole screen and well you can see it works but you get bad the picture looks kind of blurry and doesn't look good so I mean you want it in the like the original format so how do you do to get this color around here so how do you do that uh, so what you need to know first is go to the desktop background and you can change the background color that's basically the color around the picture uh, so you basically want to change that to this color uh, but how do you know uh, what this color is? Um, we are going to find that out in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I know there are free uh, programs to, to do this, so uh, if anyone know a free program that you can find out the colors uh, for free, uh, just make a comment. Okay. So, I'm going to open up Photoshop, uh, I got the picture upload uh, in here already, and I'm going to click on this foreground color, and I'm basically just going to click uh, on this color, and what we now can see is the color codes, the RGB, and that's basically the red, green, and the blue colors, and the code, or the number, uh, and the number is basically some color here, so if we drag this over the colors, we can basically see that it, it changes. Okay, we can just click here again. Okay, so we need the color code is 616161, so it's going to be pretty easy to remember what we need to input. So, let's go to desktop background again and change the background color and here you can see the red, green and blue values and you see they're uh, in default set to zero so what you basically have to do is write 616161 in all of those and you get this color so I'm just going to click OK and you can really see that it looks much better and uh, it looks like you have the whole picture uh, on the whole screen but basically it's just around here and it ends there um, and what's good about this is you keep the picture or image quality so yeah that's basically a short tutorial about that uh, see you later